Hello friends and welcome back to another plan with me video. So I'm actually back planning this week. So I actually know what's going on or what already happened because this one already went by, but I was saving this kit specifically for the first snowfall of the year. And we had the first snowfall of the year in this week. So I was saving it for this week. So anyway, this kit right here, Frosty Flowers is from Pinnacle Sticker Co. This is my planner bestie, my Facebook um, partner, one of the sweetest, most nicest people you are ever going to meet. And this is a 100% hand-drawn kit. So absolutely love it. Love, love, love the whole floral theme. I love the colors of it. It is very winter to me. I'm just going to run through it as I go. And I thought that this was the perfect time to show you this, first of all, because we had the first snowfall of the year. And second of all, because Black Friday is coming up. So you can get this kit for a nice little discount along with some fantastic freebies from Sarah's shop, Pinnacle Sticker Call. I will leave it linked down below so that you can find it. And um, yeah, this is this is one of the, the must-haves for the winter season, absolutely must-haves. The other thing that I'm going to do with it is I kind of pieced together some foil that I wanted to use. So a little bit darker of a scene here than what we normally have, but I really, really wanted to be able to show off the foil without having a ton of um, lights, like, you know, beaming off of it. So hopefully this works out. So I did grab some extra little things. So I've got this cute, 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 can you see that? This adorable little once more with love in that silver sparkly hollow foil. So I have wanted to use that. Then I've got some Scribble Prince Co. extras. These are some little um, stars and some little, yep, yeah, they're all stars actually. Nope, there's some hearts in there too. And then um, washi overlay if I decide to use it, which I probably will, but we've got some washi overlay. Then we've got some dividers here and then we're bringing out my, my big dog. This is my tiny little tulip and I ordered these specifically for this way. So I ordered two sets of background stuff, so the underlays and one set of overlays and um, in the silver foil because I wanted to use it with this kit and I have been hanging on to this for a very long time. So I'm very excited to be able to finally use it. Okay. So anyway, that's what we have. So we're going to start laying everything down and doing our thing. And I'm sorry if this is really dark, but I really, really, really wanted you to be able to see the foil without having that glare. So hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully you guys are okay with it. Um, the only thing is that I really need, and I don't have right here next to me, so hang on one second. I need a washi cutter and because I need to trim down the washi. So I'm going to use my brand new, oh, I can't use that because that's, a, <laughs> damn it, hang on. That's a spoiler alert. I can't spoiler alert that, so I can't use that one. Hang on, let me find another one. Um, I'll just use this. You guys have seen this. I'll use this. Okay. Um, I just need it to cut down this because these are long so that they will fit any planner that you want. But I wanted to make my sidebar um, functional all the way to the bottom. So I just want to use a piece of this over here. I did bring my knife. I just forgot something to cut with or cut against. Let's use this. Okay. There it is. Oh, I need a place to put these guys. So there's that one, and then we'll put this one on the other side. So I'm going to start, like I usually do when I'm using foil, by putting down the things that I don't want to waste my foil under, because there's no reason to put foil underneath this stuff. So I put this stuff down first, then I put down my full boxes, because there's no reason to put it under there either, and then I'll start putting down my underlays. And then that way, I will have enough underlays to go over everything. So I am going to, I think maybe I'll wait to put these up until I'm done putting down everything else because that's just kind of a waste of time that you don't want to sit here and watch. I love this page. Love, 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 love. This whole thing is just fantastic. So let's start putting these down. Oh, I think I want this one with all the colors at the top right here. So over at Tiny Little Tulip, oh, let me talk about her first before I get into uh, Pinnacle Sticker Co. Over at Tiny Little Tulip, you have the option to pick things um, individually. You don't have to buy the whole entire um, kit, foiling kit, if you don't want it. So if you don't need all the extras or you don't want all the little extras that come with in a full kit, you can do them page by page, which is what I did here, which is why you can see I've only got overlays and underlays because that's how I ordered it. I wanted it that way. Um, specifically because I don't feel like I need all, I have so much foil from like um, D stashes, not D stashes, what do they call grab bags, grab boxes or whatever from Scribble Pins Co. And then from when she did her um, collab, I did the collab box with Once More With Love, so I have foil from there. I just have enough foil 
that I don't really feel like I need to keep buying full foil kits right now. Then plus I have those stupid rolls of foil that I ordered um, that I absolutely hate that I'll probably never use. You know what? I think I'm going to de-stash those to somebody that does use that kind of foil. Um, I'll probably end up sending those to Brandy because I know she loves them. And she foils almost every single kit. Almost every single kit that she uses has foil on it. So I'll probably send those to her because I have like a little pile of stuff to send off to her. So I'll probably do that. And then that way those don't go to waste. But Nevertheless, I do have a ton of foil in that's over on my shelf over there. So that is where I want all of my main boxes and where um so now I can put down my underlays. I can put them wherever there's some open spaces. So these are they can be used as snow, I guess, underlays. Uh, you have a choice of how you want to use these because they're not specific. It's not like a specific um, pattern here. So it almost looks like snow, but then it looks like stars. So it could be like some type of celebration underlay. Um, you have like a lot, a lot of choices, which is why I picked this one because I wasn't sure. I didn't know what exactly I wanted to use um, this with what kit. So I made it very um, user friendly, basically. Like I have a lot of choices with this with these underlays and not specifically just snow. So that's why we went with that. And then same thing with these, pick something very generic so I could use it with whatever I wanted to use it with that is not actually like specific to any season or anything like that. So this one, I actually got this in four, I wanna say four different foils. So I got it in like a purple, I got it in an orange, I got it in a gold, and I got it in a silver. So that way I've got like year year round choices on what I wanna use this for. And how stinking cute would this look with like um, an outer space, like an aliens kit or something like that? Because it also, if I keep bumping the, if the camera keeps moving, I moved it to above my head, but it's like literally, the thing that holds it is like right in front of my forehead. So I'm trying really hard not to hit it and I might have to do some adjusting here, but yeah, I was trying to keep it off the table so that it would, every time I bump the table, I didn't cause motion sickness for everybody that's watching it, including me. But yeah, at the same time, now I ended up with it literally right over the top of my head, right, right where my forehead goes. So if I hit it, I apologize. I'm still working on it. All right, so this one we need to keep because we still have some small boxes there. Um, let me finish putting down my underlays. I have no idea where I'm going to put the rest of the boxes. Um, probably just going to be kind of scattered all over. I do know that I want, so I'm really going to have something here. I do a divider and then a box. and then, So we'll do this one here because this is probably where the most amount of space is going to be. Okay, I think that'll work. And then we'll do the rest of the underlays here so I kind of have been alternating them because I'm going to alternate the boxes and so wherever there's a space open I'm going to put a larger a larger box um so that way yeah that way you can still see the underlays in some of the other spots but I don't have to cover every inch of it because I don't need to that stuff's going to be covered so there's no no point in wasting underlays there's that so anyway about my friend, my friend Sarah. So Sarah and I share a lot of things, including our Facebook group. And so I wanted to kind of go over some of the Black Friday stuff with you. So that way you don't have to miss out on anything. Um, Sarah and I are participating in a Facebook shop Black Friday hop. I guess. I don't know if that's the right way to say that, but basically it's like there's a bunch of shops that are participating. There's giveaways, that kind of stuff, but you don't have to really do a whole lot as far as, you know, that's concerned. Um, if you just go to our Facebook group, join it. We have our own giveaways that are happening. I need a pair of scissors. Hold on. Hold the phone. So I will leave all that information linked down below so that you can find both of us uh, where we share, like I said, we share a Facebook group. So anybody that's already a part of our Facebook group knows that we are there together. And um, yeah, so all of our sale information and the giveaway, it, we're doing our giveaway together because we thought it would be fun. I'm going to add this here just because I don't have anywhere else I want to put it. So we'll just finish filling up the sidebar. And now all of the underlays are done. Yes. And it's already looking beautiful. And I know there's some glare, but it's not as bad. Mm, it's not as bad as what it normally is. Okay. And then we've got our overlays, which we'll wait. And now we're going to go with some of the dividers because I'm going to do my sidebar first. So I want a divider here. 
and then sidebar stuff. So we've got our, this one right there. Oops, this one's crooked. One of the nice things about putting foil down first is it's really easy to pick up when you mess up. There we go. Okay, so there's that one. And then need another divider above it because I'm going to put a header there that tells what the heck I'm doing there. Okay, and then above that, we want these guys. So we want a couple of trackers. So we'll do tracker number here. We'll go like this. Let's leave a little bit of the sparkle and shine. And then we can put a divider here. So we cover up that there's nothing there. And then we have one more, because I only really track two things in my sidebar um that, that that's this type of tracking so i don't need anything else and then i want to put something fun up here and where are my so i know i had them and now i don't know where i put them they had the deco for this but i can't find it i'm so sad there's there's deco that goes with this but i have no idea what i did with it i thought i had the whole thing set up together for me to use and now i don't see the deco. Darn it. I was going to use it. Hmm. Let me just peek really quick. I know. I know. You guys are going to murder me. I'm holding things up. Because I keep it together, see? It should have been in here. I keep them together. I don't know. Honestly. Okay. Well, crud monkeys. I'm being PG-13 right now, because really what I want to say is, what the hell? What the hell did I do with some? Okay, all right. Well, we'll just use one of these little squigglers. I'll use a dark blue squiggle up here. And then I'll probably put, like, something there. I don't know what yet. Something will go there. Okay, now let's put down these guys. Anyway, so back to what I was saying, because I'm very squirrely today. So if I'm bouncing all over the place, I apologize. Um... I've got like the ADHD thing is going super strong today. I'm very all over the place. So come to our Facebook group, link down below. You'll be able to get in on all of the giveaways and all of the things over there that are, they'll be linked to our Facebook group. Um, and then there's also, if I can get it done, I'm working on it this week. I'm trying to get it done. There's also gonna be a graphic that has all of the shops that are participating in the hop and underneath that graphic will be links to all of their Facebook groups. So you will be able to find their Facebook groups if you wanna jump over there, see what their giveaways are, give them a follow, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna try and get that done this week. Unfortunately, I work all the way up until Black Friday. And then prior to this, we were gone because we went to the uh, Sugar Gal Shops SGS convention in Florida. So I have not been home to be able to be properly prepared. My fault, as always, I am like just such a scatterbrain when it comes to this stuff. I don't plan well. And I'm the type of person that works better under pressure. <laughs> so when things are just, the, the poop is hitting the fan, which is why I make a good medical person. When the shit's hitting the fan, this girl's on it. No problem. Uh, when I have a lot of time on my hands and a lot of time to prepare, I just hit the thing again. I apologize. Um, I tend to uh, procrastinate big time and not get it done. So, uh, <laughs> which is not necessarily a good quality. I feel like that's actually can be kind of a bad quality, but it is what it is. That's, that's me. That's who I am. I think I'm gonna put this one right next to it because I messed up. Um, anyway, so as far as like sales stuff is concerned, I'm getting all of my stuff is under control. No worries. I've got the shop already preloaded and ready to go. It's not up for you to look at yet because I don't want anybody, you know, to buy stuff and then be sad later when they realize it's going to go on huge sale. So I have it just waiting to go live on Black Friday. So everything is up. There's really not anything super, super new or whatever. It's more like just what's on the website. Go get it. Take what you want. Um, you're going to get some mega deals if you go with the power hours. Same thing with Sarah. You're going to get some mega good deals. She's got some fantastic giveaways. Um, freebies that are going in with every order. And those are also linked on our Facebook groups. 
So if you'll hop over to the Facebook group, which like I said, I'll have it linked down below. You can also see all the graphics for Black Friday, which give you uh, power hour times, freebies, what you're gonna get each day, um, any special things that are going on during that weekend. You've got all that stuff available. So if you head over there, join our Facebook group, it's free. We don't push a lot. We don't actually post even a ton. We do try to post um, at least once, twice a day. If not us, then our PR girls are posting something engaging, something for you to see, like a, you know, a show me your spread, that kind of stuff. But we are not super pushy people. We don't post a whole lot of stuff. So it is a very easy group to be a part of where you're not going to get spammed every day. So if that's your worry um, and you're not a big Facebook person because you don't like any of that, don't stress about it with our group because you're not going to get that from our group. Um, and yep, totally crooked. Totally crooked. Oh my gosh. So I just finished. What, am I, what have I been doing? What have I been doing? So I've been doing hauls. I've been hauling stuff as it comes in because I need space and I haven't, I don't have it right now. I have a lot of overstock, which is hopefully going to be gone for Black Friday. Um, and that's another thing. Before I get into the what I've been doing, I'm just going to give you my little two cents about something. Um, I really, 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 really hope that everybody is going to do some shopping for Black Friday. I am hearing a lot of sadness from a lot of these shops that I absolutely love. Do not, um, I'm not saying don't shop from me, but don't make me your priority. Guys, go and shop from these guys that that is their like main thing. That is their income. This is their livelihood and they are struggling and ready to like shut the doors. Go shop from them. I have a full-time job. This is my love. This is my passion. This is what I love to do. I'm not going anywhere. Um, I don't have a lot of overhead. I don't have employees. I pay for everything out of my pocket. Um, yeah, I I love that you guys order from me. Absolutely love it. It makes my heart so happy to fill orders. But it's just like breaking my heart to hear um, all of my fellow shop owners of whom I absolutely love who are just like ready to shut their doors. They're just ready to because they just can't do it. They need to have a better income. And I know things are hard for everybody right now. But it's also... Um, free to just support them give them a follow um give them a shout out on your social media uh, if you know of somebody who's looking for something direct them towards one of those shops and kind of help help out your favorite peeps just just give them give them if you can't give them money to help them out give them time give them something that that will will help them stay afloat which is basically like what i said directing people to their websites like right now i am promoting sarah sarah's a brand new shop she just opened up in december and sometimes you know she gets discouraged she really does and i've told her like a hundred times just ride it out just ride it out you're gonna be fine you have a beautiful product you're a beautiful person do not worry about it but you know to be honest i do worry i worry that she'll give up just like so many other people have been giving up and I don't want her to do that. So, uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I'm going to keep bugging you about going and ordering from my, my friends because I don't want to see them sh close up shop. And I don't think you guys want to see them close up shop either, because when you want something, I know you want it <laughs> like you want it now. And if all these shops are gone, where are you going to get it from? You know? So, and we're trying to stay on top of the trends. We're trying not to be like super like, this is what we have and this is what you're going to get for the rest of your life. You know, if there's something out there that you guys want um, and and it's, it's you know, like you see something out there that is just grabs your attention and you, you're just like, man, it would be really cool if you guys would carry this. Let us know. You know, we're we're totally open to trying new things and bringing new stock to our shops. And, you know, if we can afford it and we can do it, we're going to do it for you. I'm totally going to do it for you. So just let us know. So now, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to get off my soapbox now and tell you what I've been doing this week. So I got my Some Little Things Advent Calendar. And guys, uh, no spoiler. This is a no spoiler video. I'm not going to tell you anything other than, oh my God, it is fantastic. And next year, if you did not pick one up this year and, and, and you love Some Little Things, you have got got to get on and do it next year you have to this year's was absolutely phenomenal and I know you and the, it's not a spoiler for me to tell you like the premise behind it because it's all over her website like that was part of the selling point is to tell you you know basically you're on the Orient Express and you're solving a crime and if you can solve the crime and put it in her Facebook group, um, there's a place in there that she's going to open up later on when everybody's had a chance to open up their uh, boxes 
So probably like around Christmas time, you'll see a post go up on some little things where you can you can enter your answer and then you have a chance to win the the BB, which is no nose B, B plushie. You have a chance to win that if you guess properly. I don't even know if you have to guess properly. I think you just have to enter an answer and then she's probably gonna randomly draw from it, but don't quote me on that, not sure. But I already did the video. I've done the unboxing, I've done the video, I've done my idea for who I think done it. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you any of that because it will be in the in the video after um, the 24th. So it'll probably go up on the 25th and it'll give you something funny to watch on the 25th, which is the unboxing of the whole entire um, advent calendar plus at the very end of it, you're going to get my... my <laughs> fabulous sleuthing like I'm going to give you all of my ideas of who done it and why I think they done it so anyway keep an eye out for that that's going to come on Christmas I cannot put it out any earlier because I promised spoiler free I promised her spoiler free um so some of the things is I, I do not want Kaylin to be upset with me <laughs> that I put it out early and people could see it um because it's not available so putting it out early and showing it to you is only going to upset people who are getting it and they haven't seen it yet because you can't order it it's not like I can and advertise it for her and say hey go get one now because they're not available anymore you had to have pre-ordered it but I definitely think that you guys are gonna love 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 when you see it you're gonna love it you're gonna think it is just the best thing ever and it is by far my favorite advent calendar ever and I have done a few advent calendars I bought a few I actually bought a few this year that I will be unboxing for you before Christmas time but uh, one of which is already up if you haven't seen it already, but she actually spoiled her own by putting out like a video showing you what came in it. So uh, I wasn't spoiling anything by showing it to you. So I don't feel bad for having it out there. That's why I put it up when I did. Um, but yeah, I want to, this is by far the best, the absolute best that I've ever unboxed ever. Um, I think what I'm going to do is move this one to the middle because I love having to be able, I want to be able to see the foil and I'm doing a really bad job of showing foil. So I'm going to put some spaces in between stuff uh, so I can see my beautiful foil. I'm over here chatting away, not even paying attention to the fact that I am covering up everything and it's making me sad when I go back and I'm looking at it and I'm like, what in the world am I doing? I'm covering up all my gorgeous foil. I do have to cover it here because there's no foil up there. So let's put that guy there. I'm trying not to hit the... Oh my, my big old head's probably been in here like 10 times. I'll find out when I do the... When I do the editing, it's probably been in here quite a bit. Okay, so I'm going to put this dark one up here. And there's another one I can put over here, this purple. So like I said, man, Sarah drew all of these florals and did this whole entire kit herself by hand. And I told her... This is your calling, my friend. This is your calling. This is this is gorgeous. And this is one of those things that is very easy to pair with like what we're doing right now, to pair with um, foil or I think I want something bigger over there, but I don't know what. I don't know what I want over there. Hold on. I probably do this one because I need to do my, um, when I talk to my mom, I'll put it on this one. And then we'll do, this one I can do for when I talk to my son. I've got this one here. These are two. Oh, I know, I know, I know. We're going to do a character sticker. We'll do character stickers in those, that big spot right there. Then we'll put this guy here. Put these boxes here. Right, right. Sorry, I got to get my act together before we keep chatting or else I'm gonna totally lose my marbles. Let's put one of these here. I can put like a little script sticker there and I can put another script sticker over here and then we're good. I think this is fantastic. I'm gonna leave it like this because I can put both a script and an and a character over here uh, and use that as like the base for it and that's good. That is good. What do you think? <gasps> I'm looking in the camera. It's beautiful. I know it's hard to see the foil and I apologize, but I just can't, I just can't abide by that glare. It's too much, too much. Okay. So now we're going to finish putting on the final touches, which is the floral. So here, Sarah is very, very, very 
conscious of putting her I make giant washi for the bottom I just can't help it I love big fat chunky washi at the bottom of my spreads and I have I tend to design the way that I like things but Sarah thinks she thinks and so she designed her washi to be the size that works perfectly with Tanel Tulip or Squirrel Prince Co's um foil so yeah anyway you're gonna get a glare but that Ugh, looks so good. It looks so good. Okay, so there's that. Then we've got these guys that we're going to use. So I didn't put too, too many of them on here, but I am going to put them, I'm going to put the little overlays on them. And these are from Scribble Prince Co. Leftovers, all leftovers. Actually, I don't even think this is a leftover. I think these were from a D stash or grab box or whatever you call it. For a while, I was grabbing as many of those grab boxes as I could. Um, because it's like, I can't put them here because I need that for my scripts, but I can't put one here. But then I ended up with so much foil <laughs> that I couldn't, I couldn't anymore. So what I ended up doing, I think I want this. What I ended up doing was, um, just making two, I have two big, I'll show it to you in a second, but two fairly big. Okay. You're not coming off. Hold on, you should be coming off and you're not. Did I left it on there for too long? There we go, we got this. I need to move it down just a little bit because I want, um, I want some of the divider foil on, you know, throughout the, throughout the spread. And I only, it's like super heavy on this side and I forgot to put them on that side as usual because that always happens to me. I always do this. Uh, especially when I'm talking and not paying attention to what I'm doing. So I'm going to do it here and here. I'll put another one over here so that way I have some dividers with some foil. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. And now I forgot what I was telling you. It must have not have been that important. If I think of it, I'll, I'll tell you, but I got sidetracked. See, I told you I'm very, very squirrely today. It doesn't happen that often, but I spent uh, uh, quite a bit of time with my Bessie, uh, Amy. <laughs> And oh, man, Amy, she is like the definition of squirrel. So I, I feel like I tend to pick up some of her squirrely, her squirreliness when I spend a lot of time around her. And she went on vacation. She went with us when we went to Florida. Uh, her and her husband, Jason, went with me and my husband. And so uh, we set up for the convention, which I'm going to tell you all about in the next plan with me because I have another one. That's the other thing I was going to tell you. Oh, here we go. Let me. I'm remembering. I'm remembering all the things I wanted to tell you. You're going to get hit with two plan with me's this week. This one's going to go up number one because I wanted you to see Sarah. I wanted you to get to know Sarah. If you haven't already seen or, or, or um, checked her out, I wanted to make sure that you did because Black Friday is coming and it's a perfect time to try out new shops. Um, and then the other one is going to be the next one. So if you've watched this one and you're curious about how convention went, how the Florida trip went, all that good stuff, then watch the next one, which is the one where I'm going to be using the Christmas Eve kit. Uh, and I'm not using it on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm just using it for the first week of December. But it's super, super cute, all hand-drawn by me. And it is not only available as a kit in the shop to purchase, but it is also part of the tiered freebies during Black Friday. So you have got lots of, lots of opportunities to get your hands on that kit if it is something that you like. And I will talk more about convention when we get to that play with me. This play with me is just to talk about my friends and how awesome they are. Anyway, that's why I'm squirrely though, is because I spent a lot of time around Amy and Amy is my, my squirrel nut. Okay, I think, I can, it's hard to tell. <laughs> Let me just move this the right way. I can't tell. So I think that's like a Happy Meal. That says new releases. I don't really think any of these I can use. I believe that's workout. Looks kind of like a workout. It's hard to tell when they're foiled like this, but this is once more with love. And then I've got some like little doohickeys that I'm going to put on there. But for the most part, I think we're done. I'm going to flip this over and show you where we're at. So this was the week of the trip. And I used the Back to the Future one because we were going, to, we were staying at Universal Studios. We stayed at Hard Rock. So that is the Back to the Future. Then this is the week, this is the week that we just finished. This is Thanksgiving week and sale week, which is next week, which I'll be starting. Actually, today is the 20th. So I need to do this. That's why I said this is a back plan because this is when it snowed. It snowed when I was at work, actually on Thursday. 
And then um, this one right here is going to be my, this is my Thanksgiving spread. And then this one here will be the one that we use, I think. Wait, this goes to the 26th. Yeah, I'll use the last, I want to do the last, yeah, I'll do the last week in December using the Christmas Eve kit just because I want to show it to you. I want you to be able to get it if you want it uh, during Black Friday. So, and I want to use it because it's stinking adorable. The colors on it are fantastic. So anyway, that, let me go back to where we were. That's where we're at. Um, I am not going to go any further with this because I'm back planning, but I will pop in at the end after it's all filled out and we will kind of go over everything that's in here because I'm going to be using some of the icons, some of my character stickers, some of Sarah's character stickers. And so I'm going to fill this completely out and then I will be back to kind of go over it all and close out the video. So hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are all done. This week is all filled out. I've got all my little icons down and my scripts down. And I really, really love the way this came out. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. The florals match. I mean, it's just really, really pretty. And I love having like all the little icons in here. So basically, this is the day that we came home on Monday. This is like our flight information. I worked on actually this time didn't sleep on the plane. Usually, I don't know what it is about planes being on a plane, but I sleep like a baby. This time I decided I was going to work. So I pulled out my iPad and I actually finished working on World Traveler. It is completely done. That is the February subscription. January subscription is Happy Together. And then it kind of goes on from there. So that one is completely done. Um, I've already even ordered the washi. I've ordered the um, washi tape. So uh, yeah, we're good to go. And then when I got home, there was just some stuff that needed to be done. So when I got home, there was a lot of packages. So I did, I filmed some haul stuff so that I could get it off my desk and put things away. Um, unpacked, did some vacation laundry. That's what this is. It's hard to see, but this is a once more with love little happy mail. She's like holding happy mail. It's hard to see, but it's, it's, Hopefully, maybe you can get it. I don't know. Anyway, I designed the Black Friday vinyls. I've actually been printing and cutting those. Um, they're, uh, where are they? Right here. Uh, nope, I don't have them. Sorry. I put them away. I had the Black Friday vinyls here a minute ago, but I, I put them back where they belong. So super, super cute. The vinyls are adorable. And then um, did a lot of that. Like, I, I had to unwind and kind of relax. It was kind of a long flight. And so got some tea and I sat back and I did some emails and some other stuff. So I just kind of relaxed until bedtime. Then on Tuesday, I worked all day in the shop. So I got up early because I'm still, my clock is still, was still flipped around at this time. Um, I wanted to uh, sleep in. I ended up actually taking a nap instead. So that's why this is here because I ended up sleeping um, later in the day, but I got up early and I started working on subs. So I've been cutting and printing subs. It's going to be so much easier when I get that graph tech work. Working, but for right now, I'm having to cut them all on the silhouettes and whoo, is it taking some time to get done? More Happy Meal came in today. Um, I was on uh, tech support for quite a while. They still don't have any fix for the issues. I finally got it fixed, but this is like a, a week and a half later and I fixed it on my own without tech support. So yay me, I'm not a complete idiot and I had the help of my son. So <laughs> thankfully between the two of us, I think we got it down. We had burgers that night and then I did some um, pre-scheduling of Instagram posts and uh, it was my son's birthday. So I called him. On Wednesday, we went and saw Les Miserables and uh, if that's the right way to say it. We went to the theater. Fantastic. Absolutely love, love, loved it. It's a musical. If you haven't seen it and it comes to your area, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's super, super fantastic. So we went and saw that. My husband almost got run over by somebody who wasn't paying attention when we were crossing the street, but that's a whole nother story. I called my son because it's Wednesday and it's always a call him kind of a day. Um, Started kind of looking for some new covers from Planet Perfect. So they were having a sale. I went looking for them. I actually ordered a new cover, kind of contemplated the sub, didn't actually subscribe to the sub until Sunday, but I was kind of on the website for a really long time, like finding the perfect leather that I wanted as a cover and then kind of hemming and hawing between getting the subscription and not getting it. I finally ended up uh, relenting and getting the subscription. I'm going to try it for one month. If I, if I don't end up using it or it doesn't suit me, I will cancel it. But I do find that I really, really like her inserts. So, and I know that the monthly sub comes with inserts for that month, along with washi tapes and stickers that kind of all go along. And so I wanted to give it a try. So I did, I, I ordered that, but I didn't do that till Sunday. And then we went shopping because it was going back to work this day, snow, it started snowing, which is the whole reason why this kit is being used this week, because we got snow this day. So I got up to go to work and snow all over the ground and big fat flakes falling called my mom talked to her on the way to work 
out as I packed up my iPad and my journal. I didn't actually get a lot done. Uh, it has been pretty busy at work. It's about that time of year for things to start getting busy and for me to not have any real downtime because usually when it's just night shift isn't super busy because we actually like our patients to sleep. We don't we don't want them to get uh, delirium from not getting any sleep. So we like them to sleep. So we just kind of respond to doing our regular like ordered stuff and we don't do a lot of extra stuff with the patient. So there's some downtime except for when it's busy and this time of year is always busy. So we don't really have a lot of downtime. I'm doing this so that you don't get the glare while I'm just babbling on about stuff. So a lot of the things that I was doing before at work are not going to be able to get done from now until the beginning of next year. Um, but that's okay because that's, that's work. That's, a, that's what you do. So I have to just make more time to do things at home that I would normally not be doing at home. I would normally take it to work and kind of do it in between, um, patient care stuff. So anyway, so I did talk to Sarah that day. Um, like I said, we had some snow. I got to use this little coffee monster's co in the snow pile. My puppy was adorable. She was out on the deck throwing the snow. This is the first time she's ever seen it. So she was sticking her face under it and then shooting it up in the air and digging in it. And she's just having a blast out there. Um, my daughter's new job is going really well. So is her schooling. Um, yeah, so this is just how it worked out. And I'll just tell you like this one right here is a once more with love. And this is basically like, oh my gosh, um, the website's really pissed me off. <laughs> and so that was a perfect one for the website pissing me off. And then I had coffee with Amy and then uh, the puppies are just feeling very neglected because we were gone. So when I got home from work on Saturday, it was a big snuggle fest with the puppies. They just needed my undying, undivided attention for a while. So I put that on there because I thought it was super cute the way they were acting. Um, I talked to tech support again on Saturday. They still had no help for me. More coffee. Uh, I listened to Spotify pretty much all night long. I was just kind of in a music kick. This is the new new trash. Um, I did a trash and recycle and I'll show it to you because I have it here. So it's like if you're a recycler, I have put them on the same one so that you have a new trash one and a little recycle one. So I thought that was really, really cute and they went well together. So um, I don't typically do a lot of recycling, but my son does. So he would have to track that. But trash, I love to put the little trash thing on here because it also reminds me to remind him to take the trash out or else by the time we get home, trash man's already come and then we miss it. So if I don't remind him to take it out, because yes, he will forget typical boy um yeah so that's what that is there for I had lunch with my hubby I uh, had a little incident at work and I stood up for myself sometimes I get nervous I don't know why I get nervous around the doctors I know what I know and I know what I want to say but I get nervous and then I can't always like I don't feel like I articulate myself very well with them and um we had like a little pushing little pushing match back and forth where the doc wanted me to do something I had a different idea and uh, they were being a little bit pushy about wanting me to do what they wanted to do, but I knew that it was wrong. So I stood up for myself and it actually worked out. And the doc actually came by and talked to me later on, said that was a really good idea, was happy that we did it. Um, all of the lab values came up that were needed to come up. So basically, um, sometimes sometimes you have to do that. And I'm not very good at it. How's that? And then talked to my daughter and made all of our holiday plans for when we're getting together for Thanksgiving. And that's it. So I just wanted to kind of go over the week and kind of let you know that because this was already done and I back planned it and I wanted to show you all the icons and the scripts, my ugly handwriting as usual. And I love using the white gel pen on the dark boxes. Love dark, dark boxes inside of kits. They do not bother me at all. I like the, the contrast between the white pen and the dark boxes and then all the rest of it. It just makes stuff stand out and I really, really love that. So um, yeah, anyway, that's it. I hope you guys like this. Oh yeah, also got my little medication, my Facebook and my meal tracking leafies on here. Um, what else did I put on here? I know I had something else. These are Jane's. So these are from Pinnacle Sticker Co. And this is the new, this is the new Heidi and that's Jane. So Heidi is the little porcupine and stinking adorable. So anyway, that's it. Oh, happy day. I wanted to make sure I got them all out there. Uh, once more with love. There you go. So now you know where all of them came from. Okay. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye.